The Twitter cancel mob has been fired. No way that just happened. But at least they haven't been canceled. Why would they? I'm picking up your sarcasm. The public would like nothing more than to hear their story. Well, I should hope so because I'm laying it on pretty thick. Possibly including videos of a lot of sad Twitter mob members pouting their way out the building, carrying a box full of yoga mats and frappe coffee cups. I swear I've seen a lot of stuff in my life, but that was awesome. But sorry about your car, man. It, it sucks. Those being their vital work utensils, exclaiming to the heavens, it's not fair. Instead of getting paid, the next time I do yoga and then drink espresso mochitos for six hours, I may actually have to pay for it, like some peon. Three pints each at lunchtime. Sorry. Time. It's an illusion. Lunchtime, doubly so. They're like, that's no way for a Twitter mobber to live, man. Can we put your ego aside for a minute? Something important has happened. If there's, any, if there's anything more important than my ego on this ship, on this ship, I want to cut and shut right now. Hey. I mean, I've interviewed with like five other job locations, and not one of them even have a foosball table. I think you ought to know I'm feeling very depressed. Well, we have something that should take your mind off things. It won't work. I have an exceptionally large mind. Like how do these employers expect you to wind down after morning meditation work? Life. Don't talk to me about life. I told one potential employer they better buy a foosball table or I'll stick the Twitter mob after him by calling him a hate-filled anti-foozer. Ambitious girl. But you'd be better off selling ladies' undergarments in Hempstead. <laughs> I don't think anyone even knows what an anti-foozer is. I just made it up, but it sounds bad, doesn't it? I like... In the good old days, I could have gotten your average CEO fired by inciting the Twitter mob on him. Just call it him something like an anti-foozer or something like that. Many nights I put a blade to your throat while you were sleeping. Glad I never killed you, Steve. But this guy just laughed at me. As, as if he was in charge or something. Can, can you believe that? Mr. Dent, have you any idea how much damage this bulldozer would suffer? If I just let it roll straight over you? How much? None at all. I've never seen a CEO act in such an entitled way. Top of the morning to you, girls. <laughs> Reap the whirlwind, Sheriff Brady. Reap it. 